Hey friends, it's The Cause with Midnight Lights bringing you my, yeah, my updated how to get 22,000 plus points in the club, the new scoring systems. A little wonky though, I will say in my experience, more generous than the last one. Again, it's The Cause. If this video or any other video does anything for you of mine, please do like and subscribe. I'm in my push to 1,000 subs. And really hoping to get there because the second I make a single dollar off of any of these videos, half of it's going to go to a charity we choose every month as a subscriber community. So here's how this video is going to work. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am going to give you some general tips right off the bat just as a means of kind of getting you going, getting you started. Because um, you can't really do this without giving some tips up front about like general approach and then there are some really key tips throughout the video, so I really encourage you to watch it all every second uh, to learn all of the all the tips I got for you. So very basically, the the point system is you have a multiplier times one to times three. It goes as high as times three. You need to have it on times three for as much of the fight as you can. In between fights, in between major fights or sections or rooms, <clears throat> you will maintain whatever multiplier you had um, but at the end of the last fight. Also, there are two important moves I'll show you in a, in a little bit um, to help get your multiplier up um, or give it a little boost here and there. And yeah, so... The biggest tip that I found in the new scoring system is to stay super aggressive. You really can't stop fighting. If there's an, a tango near you, you got to try and kick their ass. Um, it's it's just that simple. And if you're not doing damage, you got to be avoiding and deflecting. And that's really how it goes. You and you know, staying aggressive is really important in order to stay aggressive and not take damage. So yeah. The second you take damage, your multiplier goes down. Or if you spend too much time lingering without doing damage, your multiplier will go down. So I know it's a tough tip, but like you really got to get good. The Getting 22,000 points in the club might be one of the last things you do in this game because you've just been honing. This is a very skill. This is a very um, technical game. And so getting good is just by playing a lot and, and skilling up. Watch all, you know, all my videos. There are plenty of other great Sifu YouTubers out there. So I know it's like stay aggressive is a big tip and get really good at this game is the other one because you need to be doing damage all of the time without taking damage. And that requires quite a bit of work. That being said, this video will help you a lot. I am in Disciple difficulty. And... I've already gotten over 24,000 points in my first try since the new scoring system, so I don't think it matters anymore what difficulty it's on. I haven't tried on easy mode, um, but I, I imagine it's probably not that much different and you'd probably be fine, especially if it helps you not take damage and keep your multiplier up. A couple really important moves it, just generally in this game, but... Um, Also ones to help you stay really aggressive. Number one is crotch punch. So as soon as someone starts trying to throw a punch at you, crotch punch is huge. Um, in a crowd, it's always about the guy you're fighting and the next guy who's going to take a swing at you. So being able to sweep um, back forward triangle is really critical as well because that will obviously take a guy out for a couple seconds, which is huge with, with big crowds, as is palm strike. So palm strike is back forward square, and it's really an amazing and versatile. It gets someone kind of out of your hair for a second by pushing them far away, or you can use you can use the the palm strike to lead into a um, lightning stripes or crooked f no not crooked foot um, chasing strikes and chasing uh, trip kick so. If you do back forward square, it'll send them kind of reeling backwards. And then if you immediately press square triangle after, you'll get some, you'll kind of run after them and do some more damage. Um, I'll show you that plenty. You want to get really good at directional throws too. Kind of, I don't use that as much, but it's really good for throwing 
people off balconies, which can be really helpful, which I'll try and do. We'll see how it goes. You know, I never use hook intercept. Maybe I should. So those, I really want to highlight those as like the really critically important moves to know. You'll see me use them all the time. The next tip I want to give you is you need to fight all of the fighters. Every single one you can, you can, uh, that will fight you back, you want to go after. And that's pretty important because there are some tough baddies in this game and some you can easily skip if you don't know. So definitely watch the full video to get all of that. In the old scoring system, I really worried about like milking points. Um, and I don't, I don't, I, I don't worry about that anymore. It's all about doing damage and staying aggressive and keeping your, your multiplier at times three and not taking damage. It's really, it, I, I, I could have done all of these calculations with the scoring system, but I decided not to because I feel like all of that would be moot. Like all you need to do is, yeah, just, it's pretty simple. Keep your multiplier up, um, and stay really aggressive. So you don't really have to worry about milking points. Yes, it's good to use original moves. Like, don't do the exact same thing, of, you know, against every fighter the whole time. Pick up a weapon. Drop your weapon. That helps. It all um, Takedowns seem to be universally good. You don't get penalized for doing takedowns. So do a ton of takedowns. Um, but yeah, I just, in the new scoring system, I don't worry too much about originality. Because mostly, I'm just trying not to get hit in the face. The other thing you'll notice, and last tip before we get started here, is that the multiplier bar turns yellow, and I think that's what happens when you're being very original, and I think that's good. It does help with points, but again, just don't worry too much about that. Just try and get your licks in, try not to take damage, and, and that's the biggest thing. And of course, for not taking damage, you want to get really good at avoiding and deflecting, which is pressing L1 uh, at, the, at the exact moment you're kind of about to get hit. So let's go ahead and get started. My first goal here, one of the things you can do to get your multiplier up is to, although it didn't work there, I'll do it here in a second, is to, it's right on the D-pad. It will, it will give you like about a half of a bar. And it's good, you, can, you just don't use it too much because it, it has diminishing returns for sure. Use it when you really need it. Um, I'll show you the other. So that's one of two ways to get your multiplier up in a in a pinch. I'll show you the other one in a little bit. The other thing I want to highlight to you is so I got my multiplier up to times two with just this one guy. Once your in if your multiplier does go down, you you get the most points typically for a takedown or when when you kind of knock a guy out. So try and make sure your multiplier, this is really important in the sanctuary, like your multiplier needs to be up at times three, basically when you beat every enemy in the sanctuary. It's not the same here. It's a little more forgiving. It's a long level, but um, yeah, just, just remember that like if you do get hit, try and get your multiplier up before you kind of start taking a lot of guys out um, permanently, I guess. All right, so we got two guys in here. Again, I'm just like focusing on not doing damage. I'm focusing on very little. Ooh, oh, I did damage. So let's see if I can. Bring it on. Yeah, that helped. That did a little bit. So I need to keep going. That's that's really what being aggressive looks like. Like even though that guy sort of scooted away, I I gotta stay on him. I gotta keep after him now. This guy does give you some points, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he does. So, again, you want to try and beat guys with a times three multiplier. That guy gave us almost no points. All right, so we're about to go into, like, the maybe the best room in the game. And there's a ton of tangos in here. And, again, I'm not worried about originality. I'm not really worried about anything except doing as much damage as possible as fast as possible. Again, some of the big crowd stuff you want to do is... Um, you know, sort of palm striking them away or with a bat, you can hold square and it'll do it. I'm going to probably try and do a lot of sweeps if I need to, to like give myself a little bit of a breather. Um, and square. Oh yeah. And the kick, which is back forward square holding square. All of those, both of those will like send guys kind of away from you. Um, 
And you can sometimes hit these two at the same time and get your sort of stealth takedown here. And so one tip I'm going to offer you, like, right in the middle of the game, which is why I said really good to watch the whole video, um, is that this game is all about the guy that you're doing damage to and the next guy. There's always someone who's getting ready to swing at you, and you got to kind of be on the lookout for them. And that's really important because the way you're always going to take damage, it's very rarely going to be the person you're, like, actually focused on. It's always the guy who's, like, creeping up on you and about to swing at you. And the more you play the game, the more you'll be able to pick out when those, when those, where those swings are going to come from, um, who, who's creeping up, who's clearly going to do it. And, and when to dodge, avoid, uh, etc. Now, for this next tango, the flash kicker, you really want to get good at crotch punch. I have a whole video dedicated to, like, how to beat every single kind of enemy in this game, every archetype. And for her, it's the crotch punch. As, shoot, as soon as she starts a move, like, the second you see her start moving towards, like, doing something if you crotch punch it'll interrupt it and boom that's that's it doesn't really matter too much what you're gonna do i'm gonna try and get my my focus where it needs to be um so that i can use the mighty calbit as much as humanly possible which i'll i'm sure i'll show you shortly enough but focus is really important because it lets you do the mighty calbit which gives you a, like an, a whole plus one multiplier now, one of the other most, like, absolutely critical tips in this game... Oh, he didn't turn for me. Is, um, there are probably a handful of tangos in this level that will turn into fire rage mode. Which is, you'll do a takedown, they'll stop you from the takedown, and they'll, like, become inflamed. And those are, like, little point cash cows. They, they'll give you, like, around a thousand points... If you have a times three multiplier, typically this dude right here will turn into a fire rage mode, but it didn't. So let's go face the twins, you know, in my opinion on master difficulty, arguably one of the hardest fights though, you know, Sifu Arenas has plenty of very difficult fights now, but like either way, it's cramped confines, grab the bat, go in here, do the best you can. And there's a lot of points to be had here because these are two tough enemies. Who's I'm this? maybe gonna talk a little bit less because this is not the easiest fight on Disciple difficulty or any difficulty. But this is another good reason to have your focus. Uh, okay. <laughs> don't, don't mind my... Um, don't mind my sound effects here. Once you're down to just one... Again, this is where it's like getting really good at this game is knowing that this this is a Sean's Disciple. And she really only has three moves so long as you don't attack first. So once you figure out what those three moves are, they become very easy one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, it's extremely difficult when there's two of them because you can't, you know, you're trying to parry one while the other one's kicking you in the crotch. Um, or in the head, or like in the side, or really anywhere. All right, so we got the twins. How are we doing with points? 5,330. I think that's pretty good shape for this point in the game. You know, we, we that big room did quite a lot for us, and so did the twins. So now, in order to like basically um, try and make sure, you know, so until I start throwing punches or take damage, the fight doesn't start. So now that I've done damage, now that I've done damage, sorry, there's a lot of tangos here, and that's kind of the point. Things start hap- yeah. <laughs> not getting my ass kicked. Oh, thank you. So the other thing this game really likes, I know I didn't totally finish my thought there, but and I'm going to, I promise. Let me get my multiplier where it needs to be. So I think this guy will turn into fire rage mode. Wow. 
I really need my multiplier at times three for to pretty much beat up all these guys. So anyway, I just tried to bring them all together. Great, this is fire rage mode. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, again, this is a sort of points cash cow, but also a very difficult fighter. Like, um, please don't do that. Fortunately, I'm my mighty Calbit is doing me a lot of favors. Hey, come on. Um, and you can see too that uh, of now with this point system, avoiding and parrying does kind of keep your multiplier where it's at, or prevent um, and or even I'll, I'll add a little bit to your multiplier. So that's why it's like you're either doing damage, avoiding or deflecting. Just to finish off a couple of thoughts here, I did want to bring all of them up here so that there were fewer pauses in the fight where my multiplier might go down. You don't have to do that. There's a pause between all of them down here and up here, but I just figured I'd probably do better and have my times three multiplier. So I do like to kind of bring tangos together to try and beat them up together. Um, you saw the Mighty Calbit many times just now. Um, there are plenty of YouTube videos about how to unlock that particular focus move, but it's absolutely critical. Um, and I think those were most of the thought. Oh, one other thing is the points system does seem to really like when you throw tangos off of balconies like you can right here, which all you do is if they're stunned or you just did like a, an avoid that opens up a vulnerability window, you can press square and X on PS5 and towards the window and you'll sort of throw them off the balcony and the game just seems to really like that in terms of points so i'll try and uh, i'll see if i can show you that here in the club sometimes i can oh not not for that guy here we go peace so that's all it is and if i have the oh goodness I'm just a mighty Calvin machine right now. So you can see I'm the the goal here is to really defeat every tango with a times three multiplier. It does it will do you a ton of favors. So with these two guys, I'm just gonna try and knock one down and then isolate the other with um this. Isolate the other and then just pop the triangle button or heavy attack over and over sometimes they'll get a move in and you just need to avoid it but you really don't want to take on the two juggernauts at once wow that was really bad i'm not good at talking and playing this game which you've probably picked up on already now one thing i don't know is like at first i thought if the if your multiplier bar on times three was like closer to the bottom you got fewer points than if it was closer to the top I honestly don't know if that's true or not. I also don't know really what the difference is if it's yellow versus red. It does seem to make a difference just, you know, at first glance. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. Mostly, I just try and do as much damage as possible. Okay, so for these two, pick up a bottle or anything from the last room that you can. And you're going to throw it at the first one's face. That will do, like, a sneak attack takedown opportunity. And then we're just back to crotch punch for the other flash kicker so through the bottle instant takedown and now i'm just waiting for her to show me her attack and then it's um what was that palm strike followed by triangle which is chasing sweep or chasing chasing trip kick i think that's what i did um and then this goal, this metal bat's kind of nice for in here. Now there is typically another one of the guys down here in the cage will turn into fire rage mode. So just get ready to do takedowns to pretty much every um, every tango down in the cage match down here. And it does give you a pause here. Oh no, it doesn't shit. I haven't done a great job deflecting. Typically, I do a little bit. No, that was lucky. Yes, good. So, another fire rage mode. I might... Damn it. 
Um, I might... No, I doubt that I'm gonna do better than my high score here. Nope, I really hate sweeps. I can never plan for them. Alright, I'm out of Mighty Cow, but... I really would like to knock this dude out. Again, I'm just... Oh, that was really lucky. And I'm making no sense because I'm trying to be good at this game while also trying to provide commentary. Ah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to even get 22,000. <laughs> I think I am. Is there a bat or anything in here? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So I believe we've got another Sean's Disciple, which is, again, I'm just waiting for him to do his attack, one of his two or three attacks, and then I, I got him just to get things started here. That's just avoid, wait a sec, like a, a split second, then avoid, 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 like real quick. And then, like I said, you maybe you should be waiting a little bit more for him than I am. I'm actually, like, by attacking him first, I'm, I'm drawing out his counter, and his counter is a little harder than his other moves, but... I also don't want to be sitting around doing this video for you all day. So those guys are typically easier when you, like, their moves are more predictable if you let them attack you, Sean's Disciples. Um, but there is a, they, they, when you attack them first, they have a counter or two that you also need to be ready for. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so this is where the level progresses. But this is where there are more tangos you're definitely going to want to go after because... So, one of sometimes one turns into fire rage mode but all of them are pretty good fighters and so it really creates an opportunity to get a lot of points like this is a great point point getting area and there are places to throw them off balconies um which i'll try and do here nope. these balconies aren't the best there's so many in um Sifu Arenas, it's so delightful just to... And the start of the squats, there's a ton of time, place to do it, but... Um, but one of these two guys sometimes will turn into Fire Rage Mode. Not today, though. I already got two Fire Rage Modes, and that's typically what you're gonna get. I, I don't think I've ever gotten three. So you can see there that I, I did a crotch punch against this guy too. The um, the second he started his combo, um, and it interrupted it. So I, I really do like that move. You're, you see me do a lot of crotch punching, um, which is also very gratifying and satisfying. So anyway, that's it. Those, those are three guys you can get uh, quite a bit of points for, and you know help keep your multiplier up. Have I missed a dragon shrine? No, I don't think so. There's one in here. All right, so this room is optional to take out all these bogeys, but of course you're going to want to because there is a lot of bogeys in here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do more focus regain. I'm going to throw this bottle at her. I'm going to grab this pipe. I'm going to kick her butt. And then hopefully they're going to come in here soon. Um, and there are a lot of tangos. So that move is just holding triangle. Um, with a, a bat or a pipe. Uh, and it's a great sweeping move. And you can kind of charge up triangle. Oh, yes. I did get a third one. Let's go. Let's fucking go. How would you like some bottles? In and around your face. So you can see, I use that move a lot. Like, I, I use the palm strikes to chasing trip kick, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, it's so effective um, and does quite a bit of damage. So, and again, in this, I, I'm not as concerned. Like, am I doing a lot of damage, hit points, all of that stuff? I just don't worry about it too much. So long as my multiplier is up, that's all. And I'm, like, staying aggressive and on the front foot, it, it's huge. You know, sometimes... This person turns into fire rage mode, too. Well, sometimes they also let me... Oh, wow. That was a mistake. Oh, 
pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Mm, two for. Oh, wow! I can't. Oh, here we go. Nope. I'm gonna try takedowns on pretty much everyone here because I think it will give me an opportunity. Maybe one of them turns into fire rage mode. You really don't actually want to do what I'm doing, which is fight in this hallway, because it, it draws everyone out. I don't... I, like, did that blind. I don't... This will help. See, it's always about the next guy getting ready to attack you, too. They're being very generous by waiting in line out there, and I appreciate it personally. So I'm definitely going to get 22,000, which makes me happy. This is a great place to get a ton of points. Let's try and separate them two, those two a little bit. Yeah, that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. I'm going to go pick up a brick. I'm going to go throw it at this person up here unknowingly. And then I'm going to throw him right off the balcony. Peace. See, that was like 800. I mean, granted, it's Ashan's Disciple, so you're going to get quite a few points for that. But I, it just seems to me this game kind of really gets turned on by throwing tangos off balconies. All right, this is... There are only a few more enemies left here, um, but we're in very good shape for 22,000. My friends... So I throw that brick, I take her down, and then I pick up her staff because she's just a lot more manageable without her staff. And like I said, this is another Sean's Disciple, and their moves are, like, quite predictable. You just gotta practice. You just gotta know, like, which which moves you can deflect. Um, and again, check out my video on um, how to beat every enemy in the game. Uh, it will go a long way. Um, it's on my channel. Um, but it will go a long way in helping you know how to beat Sean's Disciples very easily. Because once you figure it out, they're really not that tough. Granted, when there's two two of them, that's a little harder, which is what we're about to face. But I think we got it. We're gonna, we've are gonna. we got a lot of focus bar, which... I When I first did a run through of this game, I didn't do a lot of focus barring. Um... But now I'm a firm believer in, like, having a ton of focus bar. Pop. Pop. Let's see if I can get him with another one. Oh, nope. 24-606. So I don't think that's my record, but we did just fine in terms of getting 22,000, right? That's the goal. Yeah, 22,000. We crushed it. So anyway, there you have it. Hopefully those tips helped. Um, hopefully you are seafooing your little butt off, uh, which brings me joy and delight. Um, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hit me up in comments if you have any questions. Want, we to, want, want me to make other videos? Or if you've actually done the work to look at what specific things get you more points than others that's cool i just didn't want to do that because honestly i think it's pretty clear that's really cool i think it's pretty clear what does it like it's just keeping that times three multiplier and being really aggressive again thanks for watching peace and love take care y'all